This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. I'm Marley Oxenome here at Securing Hardware in San Francisco, and I'm speaking with some of the trainers that are here today. Would you mind introducing yourself and what you do for us? Yeah, sure. My name's Colin O'Flynn, and I started a company, New AE Technology, which spun out of this open source project, Chip Whisper, started. Wonderful. And would you tell me more about your training today? Yeah, sure. So we're doing um, what's called power analysis and fault injection attack. So we're kind of taking students through uh, hands-on, attacking a little 8-bit microcontroller, and then some demos on some like larger ARM devices and stuff like that. Very cool. Okay. And so now, can you explain exactly what are power analysis and glitch attacks, and what kind of damage do they do? Yeah, sure. So power analysis attacks, um, what they let you do is you can actually see what's happening inside of a device as it's running. So you're sort of looking at, the, um, on a very, very fine grain, the power consumption of it. So it's like, you know, is it doing a um, multiply operation, or is it doing some other sort of operation? Um, and you can even get to the point using some statistics about, like, what the data being processed is. Why it's so powerful is that you can do stuff like break encryption keys out of a device as it's running. So even though it's a perfect encryption that's working, you know, there's no errors in it. Uh, but the implementation means you can pull keys right out of devices. Um, the other one, fault attacks, lets you cause incorrect operations. So it could be like it's trying to verify a signature operation um, and it fails. It, or it, it should fail, but the device actually accepts this invalid signature. Um, you can do stuff like dump memory. So there's, there's a lot of really interesting attacks you can do with them. Cool, very interesting. And I know you mentioned the Chip Whisper before. What does the Chip Whisper aid in doing exactly? Yeah, so the Chip Whisper itself spun out of, um, I was doing some academic research, and there's lots of like publications on the topic and a lot of interesting research. But it's very, um, you know, people are using what's in their lab, and sometimes it's really expensive equipment, like $100,000 equipment, and they've set it up. And it's not because you need it. It's because that's what they had. That's what they used for the papers. So Chip Whisper was sort of an open source project I started to sort of simplify it, make it cheap, um, open source, so that anyone, if you publish something with it, someone else can recreate it elsewhere. So that was kind of the idea behind it. All right, very cool. And so now, what's one of the more interesting attacks that you're demoing in uh, class today? Um, so we do a bunch of different attacks. I always like, the really interesting one for me is breaking the AES. So there's like some AES implementations. Uh, we have a bootloader, actually. So it's based on like... Um, a bunch of app notes I consolidated. I don't like picking on anyone in particular, <laughs> so it it takes a whole bunch of example bootloaders I found. I sort of smushed them into one demo, and um, yeah, as part of the class, they were going to break. So it, there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's a legitimate implementation, and you're able to break the keys out of it. So I think that's one of the coolest for me. Nice, very cool. And I was wondering if there was any books or online resources that you would recommend to somebody that's just starting out and wanted to learn more about this. Yeah, for sure. So um, as part of, because Chip Whisper is open source, there's like um, a wiki at chipwhisper.com actually, which have to stay on brand, point people to that. Um, but it has, you know, so there's stuff you can download to, to run some of the attacks. There is a few, so there's one book on power analysis in particular. It's a little more academic, um, but revealing the secrets of smart cards. This is a really, this is like the, I don't know, the Bible, maybe you'd say currently for, for getting started in it. But um, yeah, that's probably the main resources offhand. Nice, thank you. And I was curious, do you see hardware vendors working to prevent these types of attacks? A little bit. So like, it depends. Um, some of them know about it. A lot of the time, it's the engineers behind the design have heard about it or think it's really hard. So I kind of started the project myself because I was in that space. I mm -hmm. didn't know this was a real threat. I just kind of said like, eh, it sounds really complicated, really difficult to do. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really cool because there's been a few vendors I've worked with where we've showed, basically demoed this or like showed a vulnerability in their product. And um, yeah, the engineers, they've almost like gone off the rails in the other direction when I talk to them later because they're like, oh, it's so cool. Like, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's a difficult problem to solve still, but it's really the awareness is what I see is. That's what's missing more than anything. Okay. And lastly, what made you want to get involved in this field? Uh, so yeah, really it was, like I said before, I was doing design work myself and didn't know. So I actually came from the design side more than the security side. And we were doing stuff involving security and it was like a bunch of engineers sitting around kind of like talking mm -hmm. half making up, I want to say, yeah. in, in all honesty. Um, yeah. So that, and when I went back and started finding out, doing research on these attacks, did a PhD on it and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, this is like. People should know about this, be able yeah. to do it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's what really spun me into it, is like making sure people can do this. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Colin. I appreciate it. 
This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online.